Hello, and welcome to the introduction to a series of tutorials that I will be doing on how to create a very simple game using HTML, JavaScript, CSS, and several other related languages, you know, including jQuery, and languages like that. Now, if you don't understand what any of those things are, then this is a very good tutorial for you. This is going to be geared at people who are very, very new to programming or very, very new to web design. And this project that we're going to be doing was actually introduced to me by somebody um, who enjoys the game Minecraft. Now, I don't personally play Minecraft, but I thought it would be an interesting project to illustrate the basics of using web developing techniques to create interactive and dynamic systems or um, games and things like that. Uh, I think the skills that you'll take away from this will be rather useful if you go into programming or web design in general. Now, I've drawn for you a little bit of the field that we're going to be creating. Now, I'm not sure if I said before, but I don't play Minecraft. Well, I'm going to really try to study it and emulate it as best I can. And I might even start playing it a little bit in order to really get the feeling of it. So, so far, the basic design is going to be this black cube, this black square, which is our playing field, with a character, a red block, and this red block can be anything, I'm just using this for demonstration purposes, but it will be very similar to Minecraft, we'll have similar graphics and I'll show you how to create those and, you know, there'll be, you know, the ability to mine and, you know, um, navigate and interact with your world through the character. Now, the game itself is going to have two modes. It's going to have, as I said before, an overhead mode. Think of it sort of like one of the old Pokemon games where you're looking down at your character from uh, a high point. Now the second viewpoint uh, is going to be a sideways view, and this will be useful for when the character is mining or going uh, and interacting with the world directly, as opposed to just meandering around within it. And it's going to be a profile view, where you'll have your character, oh, and that's a black, your character standing on a ground. Underneath the ground will be dirt and soil and whatever other kinds of things, water, diamond, you know and above will be a sky. So these are the two views that we're going to be doing, just to give you a little idea of what I have planned uh, for programming this. And so this setup, I will show not only how to design it, but how to make it interactive. How to get your character to uh, interact with the elements around it. Okay? So that is a really brief introduction to what this series of tutorials will be about. And I actually hope that whoever's watching this gives a feedback because being somebody who isn't really in tune with Minecraft myself, if any of you can give me ideas of things I can do to make the project better as I go along, that would be wonderful. Now, before I end this tutorial, I would like to give a quick shout-out to the screen recording software I'm using, Screencast-O-Matic. I will link to that in the description. And the reason I'm talking about it is simply because it's the best that I've used. It creates a really decent quality recording. Can, you can upload it right to YouTube and... You also don't have to download anything. It works right in the browser. So, that's all for now, and I will see you in the next section of the tutorial. Good day.